As more places across the state begin to reopen, thousands of student athletes are remaining sidelined due to the state's restrictive guidelines. So today, the Let Them Play campaign is taking their case to a judge in Vista to try to get more high school sports up and running. Joining me now to discuss more about the lawsuit and what it hopes to accomplish, Scripps Ranch High School head football coach Marlon Gardenera. Thanks for being here, Marlon. Thank you. So, Marlon, you and another parent filed this lawsuit on behalf of your student athletes. Where does this lawsuit stand? And, and fill us in on what's happening here today. Sure. So, we had a brief hearing on Wednesday where we thought we were going to have the hearing. Uh, the state asked for a little bit more time to get their paperwork in, and it was moved to today. However, the attorneys at Winger Grebbing, our law firm, have done an amazing job. They asked, if we're moving it today to today, is it possible for us to get a decision? And they laid out the main argument uh, that we're running out of time and we need these kids back on the field. Uh, so the sooner we get a chance to do that, the better. Uh, so we have a hearing later today uh, to see if that can happen. A lot of ears have been perking up with uh, everything that Let Them Play California organization has been doing here, including the governor's. He's well aware of your efforts. Still waiting for uh, you know a, a response from the governor to this lawsuit, to the Let Them Play uh, organization's request to get kids back on the field. Any idea, any inkling on when we can expect to hear back from the governor on this? And, and what are you hoping that response will entail? Well, there are lots and lots of rumors that today is the day. Wouldn't you know it? Likely before the lawsuit uh, is heard this afternoon. Uh, we are actually expecting the governor to speak to this issue today. We don't know what he's going to say. Uh, the Let Them Play California folks have done an amazing job particularly uh, Ron Gladnick down here in San Diego from Torrey Pines High School, negotiating directly with the governor's office. Uh, and they have been told that they should expect to hear something today. Unfortunately, they don't know exactly what will be announced. What I anticipate is that outdoor sports will get an opportunity to get back out on the field. Although Dr. Galley and the governor's office has indicated they still have concerns about indoor sports, despite the fact that there are 30 states right now playing basketball. Uh, hopefully some data is being gathered uh, to convince the governor's office and the California Department of Public Health that that too can be played safely. Uh, but if not, uh, there is that backdrop of the lawsuit where we're saying that we're not being treated equally under the law. So I think the lawsuit sort of puts a timestamp on this. Uh, and one way or another, we're going to have more information at the end of the day than we've had over the last 11 months waiting for these kids who've been sidelined to get back on the field. Ah, potentially a big sneak peek at what could be developing here today uh, from the governor. Um, if that should happen, if he should come out and say, OK, fine, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll allow outdoor sports. How, how big of a deal is that? How life changing is that for, for you and for your kids and for not just football players, but for other kids who have been not able to play their outdoor sports? Well, I, I, unfortunately, you sort of have to think of it this way. Kids haven't been allowed in sports, they haven't been allowed in church, many haven't been allowed in school. There are still parks where they took the basketball rims off the backboards. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of things open and available for kids to do. Uh, normal has been you know, distant memory for a lot of kids. So I think this brings back hope. I think this gives them a little direction and motivation to continue to do the right thing, whether it be socially distancing, washing their hands, all of the normal protocols that are in place to keep people safe. Uh, but it's a lifeline. I mean, my son is a, a potential scholarship athlete, and there are schools who want to see his film, and obviously he hasn't been able to do that. But for a lot of kids, sports represent a lot of things, motivation for better grades. In some places, it's motivation to stay in school altogether. So I think the, the devastating impacts of the restrictions and the longevity of the restrictions being over, uh, it, you know, today could be a really, really big day for kids who've been suffering. And as much as there are a lot of people who've suffered from COVID, a lot of kids are suffering more uh, because of these restrictions. So today really could be a big day. Marlon, you and I have exchanged a, a few messages here, and you've said you've learned a lot about politicians, particularly in this journey. Have our political leaders been helping you at all in this effort, or have they just been adding to your frustrations? Well, you know, I would say it's a mixture of both. Uh, you know, a month ago, if you ask me, would a group that I'm a part of be talking to the governor's office and really making headway uh, and getting data in front of the governor's office and really trying to convince people? Obviously, I would have told you no. So what I have seen is that there can be responsiveness. Does it go fast enough? Is it transparent enough? 
Do you get the feeling that constituents are really the top priority? I would say the answer is no, not necessarily. But there are 60,000 plus dedicated people a part of Let Them Play California. There are nearly 1,000 football coaches in the Golden State Head Football Coaches community uh, that really uh, have pushed and pushed and pushed. And I would say ultimately today, as a result of those efforts, something's going to happen. Again, I wish there were more transparency uh, so that we knew exactly what that was and that we helped craft specifically what that was. But uh, something's going to happen. Yes, I'm a little frustrated. I can't tell you what. Uh, and I don't know why it took this long. Mm -hmm. And I know more kids have suffered and there have been more impacts on those kids. Uh, but ultimately, uh, if today turns out the way we're hoping, uh, it would have all been worth it. And, you know, you'll chalk it up as a learning experience, certainly what you have to do with politicians to get movement. Yeah. Uh, but again, if it works, we'll be pretty pleased. Marlon, thanks so much for your time here this morning. We will have you back on. Thank you.